Hey everyone, Zev here, and welcome to The Burst Overview. With releases of such kind, there's always a question if something is a proper action story based game or just another roguelike. There's definitely a lack of single player campaign stuff on the platform, like of course it's harder to produce, however I feel like being more memorable around so many games out there is like more appreciated. So The Burst is a parkour action shooter game where, depending on your wild creativity, you'll explore a vast post-apocalyptic world and make everything explode in your sight. I'm clearly trying to think about certain descriptions because the actual one on the store is very general and there's no specifics if it's with the story, lore, anything really. It seems to be some sort of a Stradish Mad Max hybrid going on with a dystopian vibe and art style being very suitable for the quest platform, especially that you can just pump out a lot of performance with that and use every trick there is possible. I'm kinda surprised at the gameplay because it really comes across as something polished with mechanics that we've kinda seen before but not done in a proper way. And in this trailer Burst kinda conjoins everything together making a cohesive shooter experience with parkour on its mind. The main question still stays though, like is this yet another roguelike or a title that has more depth behind it and some kind of thought process? We shall see in the headset, there's not much rambling in the actual VR community about it, but I'm all for being surprised, especially that features like that were not done so far in a top tier level. Let's go make it burst. Yoma, do you copy? It's been an hour. Uh, pff, cut the army wannabe talk, will you? I'm almost there. <sighs> Anything to report? Pass some bodies, strip clean. I'm following a trail. I'm reporting the pixelated clouds. <laughs> Just some controls adjustments. It's interesting that the environment itself can be okay, but then on the ground I can see pixels like. Interesting discrepancy. But that's like straight from stride. What the? <laughs> I like auto jumped and then slid for no reason. What the hell is going on? What? That's some weird interactions going on. Reach the hideout, search the outskirts, locate supply crates, snatch them, and leave. Bravo! Then you managed to demote a deer this time. Shit's serious, Kay. Don't know how long we'll manage on what we've stored. That's such a weird way of sliding. I'll just opt for the physical one. It also like randomly slides. I 
And because we turn, sometimes we might accidentally crouch with the same joystick. literally spin around it there is just some weird body positions if any because it's just our hands pretty much where did I even go? Is there? I mean, the world itself isn't too detailed, really. It reminds me of Eolia. Yeah. And the rendering is very close distance. It's interesting we can smoothly hop in by grabbing the wheel because there is no body going on but the sending is a bit awkward like we're flying on it pretty much Okay, death machine. It sends riddle with bugs to me. Got it. Anything else? Before you go, let's recall some of the basics. Just in case. Uh, if you insist... I do. First, your iron. You have a gun in your chest holster. And you can store two behind your back. Check. It's quite inconvenient. Blame the manufacturer. So, check. Check. Could you please speed it up? The reloading itself is nothing special because you grab it. But the insertion is also not as straightforward. Done. You can also use the HSM to move around. That bit is obvious. Find a spot, hold the trigger, swing and let go. Is 
It is kind of Alex mechanics. Yeah. Seriously? Can I get back to my mission? Sure. Take care, kid. Talk about gratitude. Get this, get that. It's like the devs did not play the game themselves. Onwards. Oh my god. Okay, I'll take another one. What is even going on? It feels like an app-up game. <laughs> no disrespect. But if the second one blocks, then I'm screwed. It also seems open worldish, which doesn't happen that often. But I mean, it's an empty one, so. There's no excitement to it. I wonder if I can hop on with my glove. I think I'm lost. Holy cow, the kinetics! Do we have some guidance? I'm slowly over it, honestly. <laughs>
It just feels like a prototype of something. Oh, there's an arrow. Unless I have to climb it. I'm so used to the Nexus that I should be able to go up here. But I mean, if you have climbing game, What's the point of having limited movement? Jesus. <laughs> oh, wait, I will never cross this. One more try and then I give up. <laughs> There's just nothing going on. Well, I guess I'm going nowhere now. Screw this. I mean, it is horrible, like, there's no denying that by every single thing I've done or not done in this video. <laughs> the kinetics, interactions, movements, like, it's all over the place. It goes for a rather undiscovered area with open world scenario and then kinda next to see mechanics with strings, climbing, whatever. But ultimately, it goes nowhere. There's also no guidance, what to do. It's just nothing in general. The graphics, sure, I can pass it because it's a rather big scale gameplay, but have some proper exploration, mechanics. I've encountered bugs along the way and in the beginning, which is just embarrassing for the developer. Like to me, this is an absolute no. I don't know how this is an official release of anything and someone has to go back to the drawing board.